Note 11 shedding light on a painful part of South Florida history. Fort Lauderdale's Reuben Stacy was lynched in Fort Lauderdale on 88 years ago. Historians say it's the only lynching on record in Broward County. Tonight, a film honoring his life and teaching about the history of lynching in South Florida premiered at Nova Southeastern University. And this, of course, is a difficult topic which comes with some difficult images. CBS News Miami's Chelsea Jones has our report. A portion of Davy Boulevard has been renamed in Reuben Stacy's honor, but in July of 1935, this area looked a lot different when Stacy's body was hung after reports of an interaction with a white woman. I must warn you that some of the images you're about to see will be disturbing. A lifeless body hangs in the distance of this photo from July 19th, 1935. The body is that of Reuben Stacy. He was not only lynched, he was shot 17 times. There are many tales as to why this happened. Here's one of them. He went and he knocked on the door asking for work. She invited him in um, and he cut her with a pen knife. A film entitled Reuben, directed and produced by his great great niece, Tanel Brown, premiered at Nova Southeastern University, created not only to serve as a history lesson, but also to record set a significant moment in South Florida black history. The Civil Rights Act didn't occur until 1960, so at the time everything was segregated. Um, blacks were on one side of town, whites were on the other side of town. Uh, there was a lot of uh, racial tension going on. But the film was about getting to know Reuben Stacy, the man. A family man, somebody who was always involved with family, spent time with his wife, he spent time with his son. He also loved to fish. Brown says her aunt Ann Naves, who you see here, lived in the house with Stacy and was eight at the time of his death. But the lynching brought on a lot of shame. You did not speak about those sort of things because it could happen to you. Now, Reuben Stacy's family is speaking about it in hopes to tell the full scope of history, especially at a time in Florida when challenges to the teachings of black history are being called into question. This idea of trying to rewrite what actually happened, now is the time for people that understand what truth is to stand up and get that truth out. Just tell the whole story, no matter what it feels like. Another important part of this film was teaching about lynching and that it's more than just being hung from a tree. It could mean being tied to the back of the car and then dragged. Ultimately, though, this family and all those involved want to make sure that people are learning about the history here in South Florida. In Fort Lauderdale tonight, I'm Chelsea Jones, CBS News, Miami.